Hello. Hey, Jandi, what's up? So, uh, you know what? I had a question and that's why I called you. Um, I'm trying to pick up Power BI. Uh, it's getting popularity at my work, so I was trying to build up my knowledge on Power BI. But tell me this thing. Uh, do I need to kind of be very, very good at Excel to be able to learn Power BI? Like, be awesome at it? What do you think? Yeah, maybe. Uh, I mean, yes. No, 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 no. Uh, you don't need Excel. Yeah, maybe you, maybe you need it, kind of. Hello, people. Welcome back to the channel. Now, in this particular video, I won't do any problem solving on DAX or on Power Query. Rather, I would like to speak to you about a very important question that I very often get is that, do I need to be very good with Excel to be able to learn Power BI? Is Excel a stepping stone to learn Power BI or not? Now, the answer to that particular question is no but kind of yes. We'll actually explore both the parts, the no and the kind of yes part. Let's just actually go start with this. All right, let's just talk about the no first. Now, Excel isn't like Power BI. Excel is a grid-based structure, which is where you have cells, rows and columns, and you enter some values in, in the cells, and you are free to do anything with those values. Take a sum of that, draw some charts on that particular thing. So Excel is very, very versatile. Unlike Power BI, Power BI has a very structured way of pulling the data inside of the software. So you, you use actually Power Query to be able to pull the data in. If your data is not very clean, is messy, you can start to clean the data using the Power Query um, and you can then push the data into the data model of Power BI, which is where you start to build relationships between the tables, start to build up your calculations using DAX, and then finally you start to build tables or matrix or charts, whatever you, that might be. So Power BI, unlike Excel, is very, very structured in the way the data has been loaded, calculated, processed, and presented to the user. And that is the reason why Power BI is very different as compared to Excel. Now, uh, because of this architecture, any knowledge that you have of the Excel formulas, VBA, or anything that you've built over a period of time is essentially useless when it comes to Power BI. So it's not going to help you learn Power BI any better. So I can be pretty confident in saying that, uh, yes, if you don't know Excel, you can still be a pretty sophisticated Power BI ninja. So that's the no part. Let's explore that kind of yes part that why do you still need Excel to be able to be good with Power BI? All right, the kind of yes part that why do you still need Excel to be able to learn Power BI? Now, I'll still stick with my point, which is where I said that the knowledge, the technical knowledge that you've built in Excel, which is the formulas, the charts, the pivot tables, or whatever that you've learned in Excel is still not going to be very useful in learning the technicalities of Power BI. But where Excel can help is your maybe grasp of working with the data in Excel. So if you've been writing VLOOKUP functions, index match functions, maybe perhaps creating a couple of pivot tables as well, you would probably have a good hold of working with data. You would understand the limitations of working with Excel and how do you actually get around those limitations by doing various things in Excel. And that will actually bring you to a certain level of building your understanding in Power BI. For instance, if you write a VLOOKUP, you do understand that in order to expand the dimension of any particular table, you write a VLOOKUP and create more and more columns because pivot table is just one single source of data that you can actually put it inside of your Excel pivot table. So you understand the, right, the importance of writing a VLOOKUP. If you do create a pivot on top of a pivot table, probably you will understand that what are virtual tables better and what are virtual tables and how are they actually used in Power BI. So these concepts that you've actually built with the help of working with Excel, these concepts of working with data are going to be immensely helpful while you're actually picking up your knowledge and the technical aspects of Power BI. That's part one. Now, the second part that I'd like to talk about is because you have been able to write VBA, sophisticated formulas, or maybe complex lookups and complex pivot tables, you've built a knack of working with complexity and your aptitude is already developed to be able to handle complexity. Now, when you actually, you know, come across DAX and Power Query and the M language, there are 
very high chances that you will be able to sustain that complexity and able to manage through that complexity and be able to learn Power BI because you already have the knack and the aptitude to be able to handle complexity. So two parts, the, the knowledge of working with the data, uh, that's part one, which could be just with Excel or any other piece of software and the knowledge and, and the knack of actually dealing with complexity and building up your aptitude. All right, those were my two cents about learning Excel and does that help you build your knowledge of Power BI or not? Let me know what are your thoughts about this and how do you think uh, about this particular topic. In the end, if you're trying to learn Power BI and DAX and Power Query seem difficult and you'd like to master these concepts right from scratch, build up your fundamentals first and then proceed on to solving more difficult, more challenging problems of your own data, I'd highly recommend that you take a look at my courses. It's gonna be highly beneficial. Thanks so much for sticking around and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye. All right. Those were my two cents about learning Excel to be able to. All right. Those were my two cents on uh, do you need Excel knowledge to be able to be pretty.